Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Scott McGregor here with Adventure Kayak TV. Nigel Dennis, we're at, well, where are we? We're at the 2012 Canucopia show, and um, we were chatting off camera about you sending us a pilgrim expedition, and it's outside on a truck, and I, we're right. going to review that for yep. the next issue. Yep. But I thought I might as well ask you a couple questions about it, and, and you yep. walk us around this boat, if that's okay. okay. Sure. So, I mean, it's been around a couple years, you were saying. Yeah, the, uh, the, the Pilgrim was the, the shorter one was out first, probably about two and a half years ago. And then it was followed by the, the longer Pilgrim expedition for, well, for expeditions. Right. So the same size of paddler would paddle this boat, just wanting the more storage, yep. longer water line. Yep, yep. The, um, this, this boat, the expedition, that will, you could easily go for a month self-contained. Um, so you've got more speed. Um, and you just proved that, didn't you? Weren't you just on a 23-day? Yeah, we just we just uh, paddled from Nassau down around the bottom of Georgetown. So we did the length of the Exumas, um, and we were completely self-contained. So in the in the Explorer, I had um, food for two of us for 28 days. That's hydrated food and about 32 liters of water. And Isla in this boat had just all the camping equipment. So let's, so let's take a walk down here. And yep. if, if, if I was looking to buy this boat, what would you tell me some of the features are? Um, okay, well, we actually have to match the boats to the size of paddler. So that's, that's pretty important. So there's, there's height, weight, and there's length of legs. I was on Deception Pass before Christmas, and I know I can't fit in a Pilgrim at 6'2 in a long inseam. <laughs> right. so. Yeah, that's right. And also size of feet. Right. So that's why we've got so many different models. But basically... Um, this one is for smaller folk, but also the knee bumps and things are for people a bit taller and they can get their, their knees up into the, into the raised areas. And there's, there's two ways of doing it. You either raise the whole deck, but then you've got more volume and you've got more exposure to wind, etc., etc. So um, by putting the knee bumps in, we can create more leg room, but keep the volumes down and let it handle better in wind. Great. And then... Obviously, you've got a day hatch. So yeah, we've got a day hatch, and there's a, a, a small bulkhead here. And it's the same as other kayaks, really, in the sense that um, this is meant open at sea, and it's a fairly small compartment, so if it's going to flood, it's not going to cause a major problem. Right. And then you've got your, your bigger compartments, forwards and aft. So when you're loading, we keep the heavy stuff in the middle and the lighter stuff out on the ends. Great. Yeah. And then the other thing is with the, the Pilgrim Expedition, because it's for shorter people, the keyhole is scaled down in size so the, the thigh grips are in the right place. And they have an option of a narrow seat or a wide seat. Great. So I'm looking forward to paddling it. Good. Well, thank you very much. You'll squeeze in. <laughs> I'll do my best. Seriously, I'll do my best. Good. This is Scott McGregor with Adventure Kayak TV at the Canoe 2012 Canoe Copia Show, hoping you paddle forever. Learn more about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on-water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com.